everybody, it's Thea Daniels with Raw Vlogcast, where we keep it real, authentic, with people willing to share their passion. Here's the camera up over here. And tonight I am with the one and only Aki Kumar. And he just blasted the roof. There wasn't a roof out there, but just tore up the stage. You had Levi Lloyd on stage with you, and Andy Santana, and Donnie. Donnie's wonderful crew. Oh my God, yeah. Mary Bluesman. The, the, <laughs> yes, the Mary Bluesman. So it was a terrific night, you guys. I walked in and my heart just exploded with um, pure joy of the blues. So tell us a little bit about how did you get started? What influenced you? Who inspired you? Um, well, let me make a short story long. Okay. <laughs> the blues thing came into my life in my 20s. Um, I, I came to the United States from India to be a software engineer. So I went to college here, San Jose State grad, and I you know, worked in high tech, as, uh, high tech as a software engineer for a number of years. And along the way, I uh, fell, into, uh, fell in love with the blues scene in San Jose. And there was a very strong blues scene, still is. And a lot of uh, my idols, like Andy Santana, who we saw today, uh, he would come through town and he'd play locally and I'd watch guys like that. And I found a wonderful harmonica teacher because I was so inspired to do it myself. And I spent years doing the part-time thing and just trying to, you know, do the weekend warrior thing. And then uh, by the time I got to my mid-30s, I, I went pro, you know. And I, I've left the high-tech career behind and I've been blowing harp like a fool ever since. Don't miss that high-tech <laughs> Career no, stuff, huh? I don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> it misses me, but I don't miss it. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so good. So, 20 years old. You uh, were 20. And um, got I, was, turned on to that. I was in my early 20s. You know, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so folks, you don't have to be like 10 getting started on this. No, well, I mean, I wasn't mature, but <laughs> I, was, I was certainly an adult. <laughs> hmm, there's something about that immaturity. <laughs> Uh, I ran into a guy out there, Jim. He said he ran into you and you made him feel like on top of the world one time when you were backing him up playing the harmonica. Can you tell us a little bit about Jim that? Jim has been a wonderful friend and a fan for a long time. He's a harmonica player. I think I first ran into him in Berkeley, then in San Jose. We've kind of known each other for a long time. And for me, the important thing is, when I got started, I had really good mentors and uh, idols who never said one uh, harmful thing to put me down. They were always inspiring and always tried to lift me up, uh, Andy Santana included, right? So when I find somebody or run into somebody that's looking to get started or, you know, in some small way looks up to me, I try and kind of Lift him up. Lift him up and kind of fuel their passion. And, and I'm glad to hear that he felt inspired back, way back. I mean, and then he came down and was talking with you. Yeah. And you guys were like bouncing back and forth that vibe. Yeah, and the funny thing is that we haven't talked in years. Uh, but with good friendships, sometimes it doesn't matter. You know, you can just continue a conversation that you left off mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. ago. And that's kind of what happens with a guy like him. When you make people feel good, it contagious I, I sure hope so <laughs> I sure hope I so got that's the one that. contagious thing we need this season just that <laughs> hey so speaking of contagiousness people were talking about you have this Bollywood style yes. about you yes tell tell me a little bit well you know it's kind of part of who I am I mean I was born and raised in Bombay in India and I grew up listening to a lot of Indian music and a lot of that included what they call Bollywood music, which is Indian pop music from the movies. Um, and it's just, it dominates the airwaves. So the kind of Bollywood music I grew up listening to, uh, that I really liked, was the stuff that my folks, my parents liked, uh, from their generation and before. So stuff from the 50s and the 1960s, really, that, you know, retro music, oldies. Mm -hmm. And so um, when I fell into the blues scene here and started doing the blues thing, like you heard tonight, mm -hmm. um, after a few years I said, well, why don't I just start representing some of that music that I grew up with? And so I have this thing called Bollywood blues, which is just like a, a nice, wonderful fusion of the two, two, two uh, musical uh, vocabularies. And uh, although I didn't get to do that tonight, hopefully you'll see me with my full band. 
delivering that show sometime soon this year. So how can we find out about you and this full band? And also, are we able to find you playing on YouTube or something yes, like that? Yes, you can follow me on YouTube. I have my own YouTube channel. It's Aki Kumar. And uh, I, I, I have, uh, during the lockdown, I've built a little garage studio. So I've been posting a lot of uh, videos with the band from that studio. And, and you can see a lot of my latest content out there. I'm on Facebook, Aki Kumar. Instagram, Aki underscore Kumar. My website is AkiKumar.com. Um, and I am Aki Kumar. That's Aki Kumar. <laughs> and do you have any gigs getting ready to come out and happen um, this spring? Yeah, I think I'm playing in, uh, at Harlow's uh, in February, early February, on their Bourbon and Blues Wednesday as part of that series. And then I'm playing in, in mid-April with my band, with the Bollywood Blues thing. So I'll be making a trip, you know, kind of close to here. I can't Sometimes wait soon. to see. I really hope you come out to see the April show for sure. Okay, terrific. Yeah. So we can find out how to follow you on any of those yeah. venues you well, just yeah, mentioned? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Any words of wisdom, something that you live by you want to leave us with? Um, all I'll say is be kind to, uh, yeah. uh, to each other. I mean, we are in very trying and testing times, and there's one thing we need is to just kind of, you know, uh, look out for each other. That's what we need to do more in this world. Absolutely. And that's what Raw Blogcast is all about, too. It's sharing the good stuff, sharing the passionate stuff that keeps us going and keeps the world going around. Yes, it does. Thank you so Thank much. You. And you. I get to publish this and share you with the world? Yes. Uh, we'll make you rich and me famous. Ooh, I like this. And you rich and me famous. Wait. A mm, <laughs> little bit of both. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. Catch us on YouTube for, with Raw Blogcast, R-A-W. And uh, until next time, cheers. Thanks so much. Thank you.